New York City has a new mayor. His name is Eric Adams. And the media has sort of been framing this guy as a moderate. He's not like full-on lefty socialist maniac Bill de Blasio. He's a moderate. And he's going to be pro-police and he's going to be for cleaning up the city and doing something about the homelessness and the drug use and all of that stuff. That's the way it was framed. Well, then, this past weekend, yesterday, Sunday, uh, Eric Adams went on Jake Tapper's show on the entertainment network CNN uh, and started talking about allowing non-citizens to vote in New York City. You announced last night that you're going to support a law passed last month in New York City, which will allow roughly 800,000 legal non-citizens to vote in local elections, provided that they've lived in New York for at least 30 days. You previously called the bill problematic and expressed concern about giving a right to vote to non-citizens who have only been here for a short amount of time. Why did you change your mind and why is it acceptable for non-citizens to vote in an American election? No, I did not change my mind. I supported the concept of the bill. The one aspect of that I had a problem with and I thought was problematic was the 30 day part of being in the country for 30 days was the place that I had questions. And I sat down with my colleagues. I'm a big believer in uh, conversation. We have to start talking to each other and not at each other. And after hearing their rationale and their theories behind it, uh, I thought it was more important to not veto the bill or get in the way at all and allow the bill to move forward. Doesn't the bill just make a mockery of the idea of American citizenship, though? I mean, this is just for local elections, but... Does that mean like next uh, New York City is going to want non-citizens to vote in federal elections? I mean, it, and what do you say to all the people who went through the process, the difficult process of becoming an American citizen, studying for the test, swearing an oath of allegiance to the United States of America, who, who now see this legislation just saying, well, anyone who's here. All right. So first off, I'll give credit where credit is due, although I don't think Jake Tapper is great and he is basically a Democrat operative pretending to be a journalist, he sometimes does get some things right. I'd say he's, he bats like 100. He's like one out of 10. He gets some things right. So his questions were good there. Eric Adams just said complete nonsense and lies there. So he was basically like, oh, I was sort of always for this. I was concerned about the 30-day thing. But then once I sat down and heard the activists' theories, well, then I realized 30 days in the country, yeah, you can vote in New York City. Think how really crazy this is. And I, I lived in New York City from about 2000 to 2015. Uh, so most of my adult life, actually, I was living in New York City. I was in New York City for 9-11. Um, I loved New York City, right? If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. Like, New York City should be the best place on earth. It is, it is a far cry from that right now. This man is saying that 800,000 people who are not legally here in this country, who do not deserve the rights and privileges of being an American, that they can vote in the city. And his whole thing was, oh, but I, I didn't want the 30-day thing. Like, if you were here for 31 days, then it would be okay. Uh, but really think about what he's saying. That means if you can just figure out how to get in through Mexico and you just make it to New York City and you're here for four weeks, basically, right? One month, you can vote. You can actually influence elections and influence policy over people who have been here this entire time. You, you look, people, you, you gotta leave blue cities. You, you really should leave blue states if you're sane, but you gotta leave the big cities because more and more of this nonsense is coming and this guy was framed as the moderate. He was the one that was gonna back the police. Now we see that kind of going away. He was the one that was gonna make sure that you weren't gonna have this nonsense. Also, J the way Jake Tapper framed it, I just gave him credit, but now I'll take a little credit away. He calls them legal non-citizens. The legal non-citizens. Do you see the Orwellian language that these people use? It's really extraordinary. Uh, but Adams already has a corruption scandal on his head. Uh, we've got some info from the Daily News. Uh, Mayor Adams went on the defensive Sunday over prominent appointments for his own brother and a former high-ranking cop implicated in a bribery scandal. He said his office was seeking a waiver from the city's Conflicts of Interest Board to allow sibling Bernard Adams to take a high-ranking NYPD job after the brother had already joined the city payroll. So he's basically making his brother, who is unqualified from another state, a high-ranking uh, person in the New York Police Department. So it's like, this is what these people do, and I am sorry to my few sane liberal friends who are left who thought they were getting the moderate and thought that the crazy socialist Bill de Blasio 
was on his way out and the city was gonna turn around. These people, it's just like LA, it's like California. They want more corruption, they want more lawlessness, they want more illegals voting, they don't want people to show IDs when they're voting. Like it's so, it's all so crazy that the answer, in my estimation, isn't, oh, let me stay here and fix it. The answer is to do what I did and to take your skills. If you're watching this from New York City, if you're watching this from LA, take your skills, your passion, your family, the value that you bring to the world and find a place that is in line with your views. But AOC, you can't come here. I want to be very clear about that. You cannot come here.